Hey everybody, it's Rope. We just got some new patch notes for a patch hitting the Diablo 4 live servers next week on October 29th. I'm gonna link those below and we got a bunch of very good bug fixes here and a couple of buffs as well. So first of all here, the portal prankster chest in Undercity, this is the best way to farm Optoxide materials, is also now affected by the bargaining. And in general, there's been a lot of bug fixes to Dark Citadel, but also to the Undercity, making the bargaining that you can do, like the juicing of the map, a lot more efficient and less buggy. People have been reporting that there's missing mats and uh, missing items and stuff, and all of this seems to have been finally fixed here. And then they're also buffing, the uh, gems here. So many people had this issue with the gem fragment cap in the game. Uh, I'm in the game right now and you see here we're doing infernal hordes and I have all these like gems being vomited at me and you can't pick them because you already have 999 of uh, all the gems here except rubies because I just craft them for my bob. So this is also going to be fixed. They're increasing the cap and I don't even know why there's a cap in the first place. Like the, the cap for all I know should be 99 trillion. I don't know like all this like crazy cap obsession, but you have this cap right now and it's gonna be significantly increased. So I would at least expect like a times 10 X or something. So I don't think uh, this here is gonna be a problem anymore. That's a big W. Um, they also did fix a bug here with the gems. So people were using this in the pit. I'll show you a video here. You can essentially just switch your gems constantly and you keep getting the uh, bonuses here. So uh, people were just switching gems just like this and they were getting multiple bonuses off these gems and you could also do this in the pit. There is a Chinese player here that I've seen this on. So for example here, he starts the pit. I mean, he's barbarian, so he needs all the help he can get, but he starts the pit and look at his strength. Like he just started the pit and then he just switches his gems. And every time he does this, like boom, like his uh, strength just goes up. So there's been like some big gem swapping, gem snapshotting uh, going on and uh, this has uh, been fixed now. That, that also works for runes and rune words. People have been snapshotting those. In general, there's a ton of bugs in the game, uh, but the good thing is they are very much uh, fixing many of them here. And then I think in other big news, we have the beast in the ice. Many of you uh, may have noticed this. Uh, when you summon the beast in the ice, a lot of times the altar, especially when he stays red, it just consumes your materials without spawning the beast in the ice. This one has also finally been fixed, so uh, you don't have to worry about that anymore, I hope. And there's a ton of other bug fixes here. There's also class balance stuff. This has been mainly um, bug fixes, like Shred Druid fixes, a Rogue here, for example, Dance of Knives, uh, where you could lose charges and stuff. But I think biggest of all, again, I'm gonna link these patch notes. There's been a ton of changes. Uh, biggest of all here is if you're looking at the Spiritborn section, there are no nerfs to any of the crazy bugs that are happening on the Spiritborn class, allowing it to hit for quintillions of damage, like 10 million times stronger uh, than any other class. And um, I actually like this. They did a poll here on X, Rod Ferguson here, uh, the, the boss of the Diablo franchise himself here. He made this poll, so I'm also gonna link this below. Um, the results are in now, we had only 24 hours to vote. And he was basically asking us guys as the community, and again, I love the transparency here, should we fix the Spiritborn so that it's closer in balance to all the other classes? Or should we leave it as is because we're just having so much fun on the Spiritborn, right? And um, I think majority of people here, like 63% voted to leave the Spiritborn as powerful as it is. People are having fun, people are enjoying it. And I totally agree. This is also what I voted for. Again, I, I really like the transparency that he's asking us. He's asking the community what they think. I think leave it as well. People are having fun with it, especially people investing a lot of time. They're investing a lot of master work materials. So um, it would be nice though, while Spiritborn is the strong to like throw a bone or, you know, help the existing classes in some way. Like I'm on the barb right now. I mean, we can be hitting for like a couple billion on the barb, but Again, the spirit ball hits for like 10 million times more damage. And I don't think every class would be spirit ball level hitting for quintillions of damage. But uh, just buff, give them something in the mid-season patch is my opinion. They should buff all the existing classes. Like give them some cool stuff. For example, on the barb, I would very much love to see, you know, a buff to like the underused core skills. Whirlwind, Upheaval, Ren, Double Swing. 
like Hoda, like one of like all of these like favorite skills that has been fallen such out of the meta after all the key passive nerfs. I would love to see something like that. And I mean, you could apply the same to other classes. I don't know, like buff the ball lightning sock again, for example, or, you know, like other stuff for all the other classes, just for people to have fun. And I could see them doing this in the mid season. There's been a ton of responses here. And yeah, I think nerfing the spirit born is, is a mistake during the season. And he clarified here, he's really asking when, like at some point guys, Spirit Bond has to come down. Some of those bugs have to be fixed. I just personally think mid-season is not the time to do it. I think it should be done in season seven when people, you know, uh, like starting fresh anyways, because like if they nerf it mid-season, people will just be pissed, man. People will just be mad because they spend so many hours, you know, farming on the class, master working their Spirit Bond items, and now the build is nerfed. Like, I think they should not do it. So just balance the class after the season. But let me know what you think in the comments below here uh, it's gonna be very interesting i think to see what they finally end up doing like usually this is coming in the mid-season patch i'm just really hoping uh, that we're gonna get a significant buff to like the um the existing classes apart from spiritborn again not to make them as crazy as spiritborn but maybe give them like you know double triple damage on some of their builds and just so they can have fun in like you know torment 4 and things like that but yeah we'll see um, in other news, what we didn't see in the um, patch notes, and I really want you guys to like be mindful what you do. Like there are various trading websites, and at the moment, guys, there is multiple duplication exploits. You might have seen those villager remains. Uh, they are doing it with like different quest items now. There are a ton of duped items, and you can see this here uh, on the trade website. There's already like a warning sign here: be cautious. Because not only are they duping the items, like they are also selling the dupes on the open market. And um, people that don't know about it, they buy these perfect items. And then at some point, the item just vanishes. The item disappears. I've had a ton of reports of this happening. So be careful out there. I don't think this dupe is uh, fixed at the moment. Like I still see more and more of the same items flooding. And one good way to tell that an item is duped, you see there's multiple accounts here. First of all, don't trade perfect items with strangers would be my recommendation. And you can see here, they all have pretty much the same aspect here, like uh, drains 11 vigor, drains 11 vigor, drains 11 vigor, drains 11 vigor. So this is like a good way to see that this is probably like not a legitimate item. And this is just a copy of the same item. Uh, same goes on for the Durial material. So I'm really hoping that they can track down these dupes at some point, because we pretty much had a duplication exploit every season and um, now it's also affecting other players because they are selling these items to other people. They're duping the items and they're scamming the other people out of their gold. So do not trade items with strangers. Like there is so much stuff, like especially perfect items with random people. There is a good chance that the item is a dupe, especially if it's perfect and it's gonna disappear. Um, it's gonna be very hard for the trade side to do something. They have like warnings here now, be cautious, like uh, people are scamming and stuff. And it's just really bad at affecting a lot of players and also ruin the economy. So I'm really hoping uh, to see like a bug fix for those dupes here at some point. And then there is another crazy bug that I don't recommend anyone engaging. And I'm not going to tell you like how it works, but people have basically found a way to like trick or manipulate the master working system so that they can upgrade their items well beyond what would normally be possible. This is only possible with certain steps, it can't happen to you accidentally, so don't worry about it. But uh, people are running around with like items that are masterworked up to 20, up to 30 times here. And I've had a lot of uh, people link me those items and ask me about them. And again, don't like use this, like don't share how it works. Just be aware this exists. And if you see some people like with 18 resolve stacks, it's probably some of those uh, like, you know, manipulated items here. Like, you know, you see this like a red X and like, he like triple masterworked six resilience, he triple masterworked barrier, and he double masterworked the dexterity. And then here they can even like four times masterwork resolve stacks and uh, yeah, get some uh, crazy items that would not be uh, possible normally. So if you see somebody like around there, like doing the top clears or having like 60 resolve stacks, it's probably because he has some of these uh, like uh, bugged out uh, masterwork items. So um, yeah, don't do that. And uh, be very careful with uh, the dupe stuff that's happening. I've been uh, trying a bit of barb recently. Uh, we'll see how that's going to go. And uh, I think there is more and more bug fixes coming here. And they are like, 
I mean, look at how many like bugs they have all been fixing, like the beast in the eyes and stuff, the gem fragments. It looks to be like they are uh, like working very actively on all these fixes. And I really hope that we can finally see like a once and for all, like a, an end to all this like a duping and exploits. Like it's, I mean, we had a dupe exploit every season. So um, just be careful guys, don't lose your items. And uh, yeah, the patch notes are gonna be linked below. I'm hoping to see uh, fixes for this year soon. I've heard many people that lost their items and uh, yeah, just be careful out there, my friends. I'll see you soon. I'll keep you updated. GG, take care. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.